Welcome back to this lecture. In this lecture, I will teach you how to bring those reference images into Maya. Before that, uh, I would explain my interface looks a little different than yours because I have hidden time slider and frame slider. I don't need while I'm modeling. I don't need those interface elements. So I have hidden those from here. Display UI elements. Uh, from here, you can hide any of the UI elements here. Like time slider, time slider is being hidden. So, so this is my interface. Uh, to import those reference images, you need to click on this icon. But it's prospective view. I don't want to import into the prospective view. So hit space bar. You'll get the four views. And go to the front and click on this icon. You can also bring the reference images by going to the view menu, image plane, import image here. The same thing. This is the shortcut icons. So browse your project where it's it's located. So my project is inside this mm, fast course reference images. Here's my front image. So bring the front image to the front view. Go to the site. Click on this icon. And again, sorry for this, I'm going back. I can also create a short, shortcuts to here. I would love to tell that like you can just drag and drop here. It will create a shortcut here. But the next time you just click on this and you are there. So go to and bring the side image to the side view. So yeah, once my reference image are here, the next thing I would like to do is just to move those reference images away from each other so that I can clear the model on the center. So select the front image, go to the move tool and just bring that front image in minus Z axis. Just push that to minus and this just uh, just rotate this image. Zero. No. Sorry, it's minus ninety. Move this image to the back. And the next thing is, you should always check your front image. It should align properly to the vertical front, vertical y axis. So it should be exactly aligned. Like just look for the nose center. It should be aligned with this line the nose center and the lip center yeah now we're ready to go and i would like to put those reference images in a layer so that it, these are the optional things like you can put those in layers so that you can easily hide and show them reference image just put a name so that you can identify that's that's it for this lecture and in the next lecture, I'll teach you how to start our modeling, how to create the eyeball.